So Daenerys Targaryen is in love with Finnick, who is also the son of Tywin Lannister, and her sister is also Clara. This sounds like amazing fan fiction. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of Me Before You out today on Blu-ray DVD combo pack. I want to thank Warner Phil Home Video for sending out this review, and here's my kitty. Um, yeah, this movie, man, I'm a sucker for romantic movies, uh, but yeah, this movie and it's very depressing. I, I don't want to spoil it, but man, just don't expect it to be, uh, you know, it's. I wanted it to be sappy like the notebook, but it's more like a walk to remember. And yeah, so uh, let, let me uh, talk about this movie. So, Amelia Clark uh, from uh, Game of Thrones uh, stars as Lou uh, Clark. Uh, she needs a job taking care of a person that's paraplegic, you know, he uh, got into an uh, accident where he was hit by a motorcycle, and my cat is getting me right here, come on, sorry about that. Um, yeah, she uh, needs a job taking care of Sam, Sam Claire, Claire Finn's character, uh, Will. Uh, he uh, is pretty much just in pain, and yeah, he... Uh, he used to have a really happy full life apparently and he had a girlfriend and after he um, became disabled he her his girlfriend like pretty much started dating his best friend which sucks man that really sucks and it sucks about him and whereas this movie could have been really a message about hope and you can find love regardless of how um what has happened to you whether you're disabled and believe me like I'm a fan of, you know, of, you know, the underdog. I'm a fan of, like, you know, finding love regardless of, you know, I love the theory of everything. That's based on a true story. Stephen Hawking did amazing stuff. He lost his voice. He pretty much couldn't do anything, you know. He pretty much needed a wheelchair and everyone to help him. Everything. God, my cat is like, geez, here, just smell. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to talk serious here, and my cat, my cat, uh, uh, you know, interrupting me. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so... This movie um, really bummed me out. I just have to be honest. It uh, it has some really sweet moments. I like the chemistry between Amelia and Sam. You know, uh, the the love of Will and Lou is great, and Amelia Clark is freaking adorable in this. And her style is horrendous. That's her character. Like she dresses like a a 1960s grandma. I don't know. She just dresses crazy, but uh, she is adorable. I've seen her in interviews and she is so great. She's so different from all the badass women like, um, you know, uh, Daenerys and uh, Sarah Connor she's played. So to see her in a more cutesy, you know, adorable, klutzy role was so refreshing. And it's very British, you know, it's very British. And uh, my cat is just ruined, I want to ruin this video. But anyway, and the cast is great, you know, we got Jenna Coleman and Doctor Who uh, really getting, uh, you know, she plays uh, her sister and she is really shafted. She's not really, uh, you know, used to her full potential. Um, yeah, and the actor that plays Tywin Lannister, uh, Charles Dance, he is amazing, but, you know, he's really underutilized. And the mom, Janet McTeer, who plays Camilla. Um, so the cast is great. Oh, and we got freaking uh, Neville Matthew Lewis. Uh, so, oh yeah, that's another thing. So um, Lou uh, has a boyfriend named Patrick, who's like really it's you know uh, you know Matthew Lewis who plays Neville, and he's so much into running and fitness, and yeah, so it's a great contrast that you fall in love with a guy that is like disabled versus a dating guy that's like all into fitness and body and whatnot. So. But yeah, he was great. Uh, like I said, uh, underutilized the rest of the cast, and there were some sweet moments. But yeah, ultimately, it was just kind of leave you depressed. I know it's one of those like more true life. This was the author uh, who wrote this, um, you know, based on a true life story. But at the same time, I don't know. I, I I just wanted something more hopeful, romantic, and yeah, if you go into that thinking this is like gonna inspire you and like make you cry tears of joy, it's more cry tears of sadness. So just go into that knowing that. But it does look good on Blu-ray. Uh, really great scenic parts, especially in England. Like there's some a castle. It really looks great. Um, good sound. There's only a few special features. Me before you for page the screen. Um, and it talks about the author who wrote the book uh, that who else she also did the screenplay uh, and yeah just talks about you know with the cast and crew interview it's about like five six minutes and then there's some great outtakes you'll need to watch it after watching something so depressing like this so I definitely recommend it and uh, 
last film. Just a few deleted scenes, some extended things. I can see why they cut them. Nothing too memorable. No commentary. And yeah, so um, if you're a big fan of these actors, I would say go see it. If knowing you're you're okay with the outcome of not being that very happy, it it tries to end on a very bittersweet note, but it's more bitter than sweet, I think. So um, if you like movies like A Walk to Remember and those kind of you know, movies that in, you know, like Old Yo or something like that. Maybe you'll like these movies, but if you're wanting something like a romantic movie that's, you know, more happier, then maybe this is not for you. So, yeah. Uh, thank you to Warner Home Video for sending out this review. And for more, check out my website, SeanLinksLong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. Uh, I'm Sean Long, or Live Long, and Love Life. You know what this movie needs? is dragons. Where are my dragons? If Finnick died by dragons, I would be okay with that. It must be the Olympics, because I'm all about the silver medal. And they always say second is the best.